Welcome to the Physics Classroom's video tutorial on vibrations and waves. The topic of this video is frequency versus period. And we want to know what is the meaning of the terms frequency and period, and how are they related, and how can we calculate frequency and period. I'm Mr. H. Let's get started. Let's suppose that I had a slinky and I wanted to introduce a wave into it. I would take the first coil of the slinky and begin vibrating it back and forth, maybe at a frequency of two times per second. The first coil is attached to the second coil and would begin vibrating it back and forth two times per second. The second coil begins vibrating the third coil back and forth two times per second. And by coil to coil interaction, it's not long before every coil within that slinky is vibrating back and forth two times per second at the same frequency as the source. When used in this way, frequency describes the number of occurrences of a periodic event per unit of time. The events for waves are the back and forth vibrational cycles of the particles of the medium. Because it's the event is a cycle, we calculate the frequency of a wave by taking the number of cycles that occur in some amount of time and dividing those number of cycles by that amount of time. Because the time is usually in units of seconds, the frequency has units of cycles per second. Another way to say cycles per second in physics class is to use the term hertz, abbreviated HZ. The coils of the slinky I was vibrating had a frequency of 2 hertz. Frequency describes how often something happens, how often the coils of the slinky are vibrating back and forth. It also describes how often a crest of a wave passes by a point in some amount of time. Frequency describes how often any periodic event takes place. The event that takes place quite often in my backyard is the woodpecker rapping on the tree. He raps on that tree four times per second at 4 hertz. That means he completes one complete cycle of wrapping on that tree four times every second. Periodic events are events that occur repeatedly at a predictably regular rate. The rotation of the Earth on its axis, the orbit of the Earth about the Sun, the rotation of the hands of a clock, and the back and forth vibrations of a pendulum bob are all examples of periodic events. Periodic events can be described by a period. The period is defined as the time to complete one cycle. In the case of the Earth rotating on its axis, the period is 24 hours, and in the case of the Earth orbiting the Sun, the period is 365.25 days. Waves are periodic events. They're regular and repeated disturbances that travel through the medium, causing particles of the medium to vibrate back and forth about their fixed position in a regular and repeated manner. If you wanted to determine the period of a wave, you would count the number of cycles of vibrations that a particle would make in a given amount of time. Then you would say that the period is equal to the time divided divided by the number of cycles. The symbol for the period is the, is the letter T, because period is a time. And the unit for period is some unit of time, like most commonly, the seconds. If you look at this equation for period, the time divided by the number of cycles, and compare it to the equation for frequency, which was the number of cycles divided by time, you'll note that they're inverses of one another. For this reason, we often say that the period and the frequencies are reciprocals of each other. To calculate the period from the frequency, you would go t equal 1 over f, and you can calculate the frequency by going f equal 1 divided by t. The frequency of a wave describes how often particles of the medium vibrate back and forth about their fixed position. But don't be fooled because the frequency of a wave does not describe the speed at which the wave is traveling through the medium, nor does frequency describe how fast a wave is moving. The term speed has to do with the distance an object travels per unit of time. And words like fast and slow describe the speed of a wave or the speed of any object. But it's words like often that describe the frequency. To calculate the speed, you would take the distance traveled and divide it by the time. To calculate the frequency, you take the number of cycles occurring and divide it by the time. Sure, both equations have time in the denominator, but their numerator are different. 
Let's suppose that you had a tuning fork and you held the tuning fork in your hand and you got the tines of the tuning fork vibrating back and forth. Those tines might vibrate back and forth with a frequency of 300 hertz, but the tuning fork isn't going anywhere. Its speed is zero meters per second. How often and how fast are two different descriptions and frequency is not equal to the speed of an object. Now I'd like to do two example problems of calculating frequency and period using our formulas for frequency and period. In the first example, a wave machine completes 150 vibrational cycles in 30 seconds to determine the frequency and the period. For the frequency, I'm going to take the number of cycles, 150, and divide it by the time of 30 seconds. When I do, I get 5 cycles per second, or 5 hertz. And for the period, I'm going to do the inverse. I'm going to take the time of 30 seconds and divide by 150 cycles. And when I do, I get 0.2 seconds. In the second example, it's about Frida the fly, who flaps her wings 500 times in 5 seconds. Determine the frequency in the period. For the frequency, I take the number of cycles, 500, and divide by the time, which is 5 seconds. 500 divided by 5 is 100 cycles per second. The frequency is 100 hertz. Now for the period, I do the inverse. I take the time of 5 seconds and divide by the number of cycles, 500. And when I do, I get 0 0.5. 0.01 seconds. It's at this time in every video that I like to help you out with an action plan, a series of next steps for making the learning stick. But before I help you out, could you help us out by giving us a like, subscribing to the channel, or leaving a question or comment in the comment section below. Now for your action plan. Here are three resources you'll find on our website, and I've left links to each in the description section of this video. Any one of these would be good next steps. The top two, the concept builder and the calculator pad, are great practice the bottom is a tutorial page to brush up on the topic. Whatever you do, I wish you the best of luck. I'm Mr. H, and thank you for watching.